Hello. So in today's video, I'm going to sort of give you an introduction into who a few of the people are in the team and um, how we got to this point. So mostly I'm going to focus on myself because I don't have the other team members here, but I will introduce them in the video. So first we've got me, I'm Cameron. I created the team Oh, uh, back in about 2017 when I first started rallying. Although I, that's a bit bit of a lie, I did uh, start a few things before that, um, moving into cars and such. We've then got Nikita, who is my partner on other half. She's sort of the team director, manager sort of thing. So she manages all the other team members. This is her here. We've then got Aaron, who came into the team in about 2019. That's when he started getting involved with the Subaru, the early stages of building that car. Obviously that car has been a while. Um, he's sort of the loony bin of the group. You can have a good laugh with him. He will show up in videos, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them will be censored. <laughs> this is him here. And Aaron's already whinging. So he can't. He can't remember. So. <laughs> We've then got Peter, who uh, sort of jumps in and out of the team. Um, it, whenever he's available, so he he's quite knowledgeable. He did a uni degree in motorsports, so he does know what he's talking about. Sometimes, <laughs> this is Peter. Hello. We've then got Nathan, also known as Dixon, in this group quite a lot. Sort of another silly one, like uh, Aaron. They When them two are together, the video is going to be quite censored again. But uh, yeah, he's quite good and helpful. He's sort of learning the ways of uh, rallying itself. Uh, he did do motorsport in college as well. So there's quite a few people on the team who have done motorsports in college. Uh, Peter's the only one with a uni degree though. I did do motorsports, but I dropped out. I thought I was uh, teaching people quite a lot. Um, but yeah, Nathan, he, uh, he comes from a background of cars and stuff like that. He's, he's grown up with me, he does like him as well. Um, he, uh, he's currently a recovery coordinator. So he gets jobs through, tells them where they're going. This is Nathan here. Straight on, man. He's taking the <laughs> Look at the <laughs> <laughs> We've then got Alex, which is our sort of in-house detailer. So he he picks up on sort of the um, the paint correction on the car, the polishing of other cars and stuff like that. So he's going to carry on a bit like that. He's sort of a new member to the team. Uh, he has been around a while doing a bit of detail and stuff like that. He's an alright mate, to be fair. But uh, this is Alex here. We've also got our own in-house redneck, so he's uh, our fabricator and has a very loud Mustang, need I say any more, but uh, yeah, I've known him for quite a while, we used to do recovery together, what an awful job to do, <laughs> long days, but um, yeah, he, he doesn't know what is easy work and what is hard work, he just gets on with it, currently making our sump guard and stuff, stuff like that. But uh, he's got a baby on the way, so with the team it's going to be up and down. Also, I have kids, so I know what it's like. But um, I'm pretty sure he's going to be quite a good member to the team. So, here's our redneck. So 
So now to talk about me and how this team came along. So <laughs> I've been racing from quite a young age, started off in go-karting, did uh, quite a bit of that. I followed that up until I was 15, had a quite a big accident, um, went into a barrier, I was clocked doing about 80 kilometres an hour, went around the corner, realised I had no brakes because the brake line had snapped. So <clears throat> I thought I'd make one more lap out of it. Went down this bottom corner where there's a bump on the corner. Bit of a sharp left it was. Went into it, no brakes. And as I turned that corner, hit the bump and my track rod snapped. And I was clocked at 80 kilometres an hour into a single tyre wall with a metal barrier behind it. Ended up snapping a few ligaments in my knee. I was on crutches for a while. Um, I had a funny story. I went to a car show, like a classic car show, and I met someone who uh, did junior rallying in a Nissan Micra. Little one litre Micra. Got talking to her and started look, looking at the sport a bit more. I then went back home with this knowledge and uh, spoke to my parents about it. And my dad said, you can build one for cheaper. <laughs> he was wrong. But, yep, yeah, started off by building my first Micra. I'll insert a picture here. And um, from there, we plunged, must have been about six grand into this, into this little Micra, just to get it going and rallying. And we... We, we did come out quite well. We've get, got a bit of first in class in a few events. I met my old co-driver at college at the time. We both started off as amateur, didn't really know what we was doing. But we did quite well at the start. Self-built car, passed all the regulations, everything like that. And we headed straight out rallying, mainly doing tarmac in that car. We'll insert some more pictures here. But to start off with that rally car, um, as we was building it, I did something called PCAs. This was a um, sort of an auto solo based thing. You put your foot down, you go through some combs, handbrake turns, and to try and get the best, quickest time. I won a few rounds of that. Um, I actually came away with the championship in twenty. 17 i think a few tro trophies to prove it um and that's sort of how we started from there straight into rallying that might did as well to be fair and after that i silly enough i had a a relationship at the time that which, which went a bit bad i decided to sell the micro rally car and join something called auto grass sort of something i probably would have never done if i hadn't met her it was a grass track an oval it was basically drifting on dirt very quick silly little buggies that they are that we were brilliant to be fair um and that ended and i sold that car i then bought the subaru and i was daily driving that for a while loved it and then after a while I thought, you know what, I want to go back to rallying, let's build this car. That took me a couple of months to get the courage to go, right, let's start stripping things out. But as soon as I did get the courage, I was out on the front taking seats out, carpets out, a lot. And then started through grinding away at the sound, sound deadening. Um... <clears throat> So like I said, I um, started racing from like the age of five and I got all of that inspiration from my parents to be honest. My dad and my mum loved fast cars, they still do, they're still around. We had uh, all sorts of things, Cosworths, 911 Turbo, you name it, we probably had it. Um, by all means, we, we wasn't a rich family, still aren't. Um, but that's where I got the courage to. My dad always wanted to go into something like rallying, 
but obviously looking after me from a young age. Um, things sort of went downhill. If you've noticed on the back of the rally car I have a sticker which aims at a charity. That charity is Multiple Sclerosis Society. So if you haven't guessed, my dad's got multiple sclerosis. So he couldn't really follow his dreams. And for that reason, I'm sort of picking up on it. <laughs> he didn't like to see it the first. He didn't think I'd be able to do it, but I've pushed myself to get into rallying and I'll carry on pushing to try and get to the top just to make sort of family proud and all of you guys for subscribing to the channel and giving it a like so if you haven't done that now please subscribe and like the channel it does help us out but <clears throat> yeah so the car's aimed at that by all means we're not connected to the charity we do give to it quite a lot but it is on the car it's the same as you'll see the side of the car it says wheelie friendly so that's sort of to act like a sponsor because we do not have any sponsors we're all self-funded which is why the build's quite slow and it has been going for a few years but wheelie friendly is run by my mother and um, they like to show you around hotels and stuff that's accessible for disabled people so that's why that's on the car until we do get a big sponsor you're probably not going to see that until we're out on our first few rallies. Again, being a novice teen, my partner has to learn how to co-drive. She's going to speak to my old co-driver and try and learn some tips on how to do it. Um, and then hopefully push our way to the top. There is a quite a local champion that we do want to get ahead of. I'm not going to say his name because I do not want to give him airtime. But we do want to get past him so with all your help with subscribing commenting giving us tips you are gonna help us push to the top and hopefully you'll enjoy some funny moments within some of our videos so i hope you enjoyed this little natter and talk to myself but yeah thank you for following the channel and i'll see you in the next one goodbye